My name is Antonio Falco, I'm the Chairman of the Surrey and North East Hands Policy Team. I work for Broadband Delivery UK, who are the unit <coughs> within DCMS who are responsible for the rollout of Superbus Broadband. In my spare time nowadays, I'm a, a partner with a company called Hamilton Bradshaw Venture Partners, which is a business owned by James Kahn. My job role at Croydon College is that I am Senior Business Development Advisor. So I go out and about <laughs> and I find employers. I drew the short straw and became the deputy leader of the county council. <laughs> and my, my main job, of course, is to clear up the mess that the leader leaves behind. The number one thing we're campaigning on is to get the word micro-businesses into the mindset of government. And nothing is more important to the success of our economy, our local economy, than small businessmen. And Surrey County Council, <laughs> I've chosen to work with the FSB to try and boost the amount of business that the council gives to small businesses in Surrey. But at a governmental level, what we're trying to do is get the underlying framework right for the economy to grow. The economy of Surrey is worth £28 billion pounds a year. And I can well appreciate that for many small businesses, uh, the banking sector feels like uh, the cause of some of our problems, but we are actually part of the solution as well. Overdrafts need to be moved into a different position on the balance sheet. They have to be seen as a lifeblood for small businesses and in the way that they're used. From my perspective, um, the role of small business is absolutely critical in both at a national level in driving the economic recovery and, and particularly here in, in Croydon and the surrounding area. We have 250 major companies uh, with corporate headquarters in Surrey, uh, although around 99% of all of those businesses are classified as a small, uh, medium-sized enterprises. And the thing that I'm most passionate about at a local level is to try and deliver the sort of regeneration of the retail area in the heart of Croydon. One of our biggest problems is congestion. Alongside that, there is a massive um, issue that's about to hit London in the southeast, and that's road pricing. But she's advocating that the Blackwall Tunnel is told to pay for the third river crossing. Can you imagine what that's going to do to traffic? The whole question of getting around, whether it's road, whether it's rail, or even whether it's airports, um, it's, it, it's a real uh, challenge. Has there been any thought or any looking at strategy of using the more smaller regional airports for, say, European flights? I live in Farnborough. Farnborough Airport is great for businesses and diplomats, but there's no commercial flights from there. What we have managed to do for the first time ever is come out with a policy. London and the South East must have a sensible aviation strategy. I think we're looking at it wrong. We want long haul, vertical takeoff, passenger planes. Done. <laughs> no, I think you've got it wrong. What I want is a beam me up Scotty machine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the web, digital contact itself, digital systems, etc., are fundamentally important, and businesses that don't embrace digital or web uh, technology are going to be those that I suspect over time are going to flounder. Within the last few weeks I've signed a deal with BT uh, to provide super fast broadband all over the county of Surrey within two years. So the intention is that by 2015 up to 90% of premises in the UK should be able to access a super fast broadband connection. That will deliver fibre super fast broadband uh, to 99.7% of all of our uh, houses or all of our households and all of our businesses. We have a rural programme. When we say it's a rural programme, it's actually gap filling. So it's filling the gaps everywhere in a scattergun approach across the country. Then we've put aside a pot of money to get to that last 0.3%, about a thousand houses. 